All right, here we go with another tip. This one is a Firefox add-on, and the add-on is Vimperator. Now, if, you have your, if you've never used Vim, then it's no big deal. Think about this. You've, maybe you've used Photoshop. Think about this like you simply assign single keys or combo keys, but think in terms of single keys, single keys to actions that you can do in Firefox. So what I'm going to do is here is the URL. It's at www.imperator.org. Now here is what makes this so cool. I'm in Firefox. I am not touching my mouse. Now at the bottom here you're going to see that this is what makes it look different. I'll zoom in on that. You can see that this white area right here where it says Vimperator or what normally, I'll scroll over here so you can see it, it says yanked. Yanked is basically the Vim word for copy. Now all I did is I hit the Y key and it automatically copied the URL that I was currently on. But the bar that you see here at the bottom as I scroll over, you can see it looks a little bit different than what you're going to be used to in terms of Firefox. So here's what makes this so cool. The first one is following links. Using just the F key, which I'm just going to type the letter F, look what comes up on screen. On screen we have all of these little highlighted links. So I'll zoom in and show you what that looks like. So right there is a link to Instabird and here is a link to Sunbird. Now as I zoom back out, one of the cool things is you can see right down here where it says follow hint. Now you can start to type either the number or the actual text. So watch what happens here when I zoom back out and I can start to type, for example, VIM. Now notice up here we have this text that has now gone to this purple color. Now the colors, you can control all of the coloring. Vimperator has color themes, etc. And I'm not going to be able to show you that in this definitely in this short video. But what I can do is I can now tab through all of the different things that you see on the screen that have Vimperator. I can also escape out by hitting the escape key. So watch this. I'll hit F and I could just, for example, type the letter 12, which I see right here, and it will take me to that actual page. Boom, I just followed that link. Now if I want to go back to the previous page, all I have to do is hold down on my particular setup, Shift H, meaning I want to go back in the history. And that's how easy it is. So I can go here and follow anything that I want. Another cool thing is if I make it a capital F by holding Shift F and hit type in 12, it creates a new tab for me and I can now switch between my tabs all using my keyboard controls without ever taking my hands off the keyboard. Very cool. And the next little intro tip that I'm going to give you about Vimperator is the open and the tab open keys. So all you have to do is hit the letter O and notice down there at the bottom it says open. You can see that right there. And I need to zoom in. Open. Now this is as opposed to, I escaped out there, if I hit the letter T, you see that it says tab open. So open is going to open the URL that you specify in the current tab. Tab open is going to create a new tab. But the cool thing is if you don't type an actual URL, you can type just any keyword. It's going to use your default search engine in Firefox and actually perform that search. So watch this. I'm, for example, right now interested in Avatar Reviews. Cool movie that just came out. So I'll type in Avatar Reviews, hit return. Notice that I get my new tab. Well now, using that follow sequence, all I have to do is hit Command F, type 23, go to that one. I can go back, I can hit Command F again and type 38, open that one, and I now have two tabs open, and you can even go beyond that in terms of what you want to open. But I can now cycle through all of these different tabs by just simply using the keyboard. Very awesome. Now there's a ton of stuff that you can do in Vimperator, and I definitely can't teach it to you all in this one video, but that is my introduction. Download it, install it into your Firefox. If you ever need any help, this is what you type, semicolon, or excuse me, colon, H-E-L-P. It's that easy. It's right there down at the bottom, colon, H-E-L-P. You just hit your keyboard on that, and what you're going to get is all of the information about how Vimperator works with regards to uh, Vim and how it works in Firefox. There you go. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time.